It's a rather special Henley this year, the 125th year of the Regatta's foundation. That means it goes back to 1839. So Henley has long known first-rate oarsmanship. Slipping a bit here, though. Narrow escape for that crazy paving outfit. Certainly there's no complaint about weather. On the same day last year, the whole place was a sea of mud. And this regatta appeals to both sexes and to every generation. Once get the rowing bug and it's yours for life. Today, the Royal Regatta has royal visitors. The Queen Mother, accompanied by Princess Margaret and Lord Snowden, graces the final day to mark the 125th year. The Henley Course, one mile 550 yards, is the longest piece of open water on this reach. And coming up to the finish now in the Diamond Skulls is Seymour Cromwell, America, decisively beating the Argentinian medical student Alberto de Medi. A bit rowed out, but very proud to be the fifth man to take the trophy home to the States. The Americans who really steal the show are the Harvard Eight who won the Grand Challenge Cup in 1914, 50 years ago. It's their jubilee, and they're back here to celebrate it, to show how they can row like youngsters. Average age, something in the 70s. They say the odds against the crew being fit, well and available 50 years after a victory, are 10,000 to one, and then the bookies wouldn't pay out. Stint, release another unguided missile. Good old Harvard. This will make Yale think a bit. The final of the Grand Challenge Cup, University of London nearest to us, against Jalgiris Vilnius, the amazing Russians who set an all time record in the semi final against him. The Royal Party are afloat again. University of London are holders of the cup, but they've said goodbye to it now. The Russians are only two seconds behind their record time of the previous day. The London crew wholeheartedly congratulate their conquerors. If Russia can keep up this standard, who's going to beat her in the Olympic Games? What about it, you English oarsmen?